Warning, this video includes graphic content which may disturb sensitive viewers. I call this the Animal Kingdom series. What's good everyone, welcome to the Post 3000 YouTube channel, I am the Postman. For today's video, it's a video called Tiger Mall's Woman to Death at Beijing Park. There's a place where you drive through in your car and you can look at all the animals. This one has Siberian tigers. In the car, I think it's the boyfriend driving, the girlfriend in the passenger seat, and the mom in the back seat. From the story I got from the comments, the boyfriend and girlfriend were arguing. The girlfriend gets out of the car, walks around to the boyfriend's side to continue arguing. There's animals around. Well, here's the video. So here they are. This video has no, no audio also. Here they are. The girl gets out, closes her door, walks, walks to the other side. Tiger. Just drags her away. And that right there. In the back seat is is uh from from what I read in the comments it's the mom. Like how how can you get so mad? Just to argue. Like just you're so mad that you got out of the car. Just to, oh, come on. The boyfriend is like opening the door. I guess to tell her, get back in the car. What's wrong with you? What else is he going to say? She gets dragged away from a tiger. The boyfriend, the boyfriend gets out. He like hesitates. Right? <laughs> he like wants to go back in the car. The, the person in the back seat is the mom. She gets out and she just runs to, like she doesn't hesitate at all. From what I've read... The woman isn't even the one who got killed. Uh, the mom actually is the one who got killed. Because the mom was trying to save her. And during that time, another tiger grabbed the mom. The park rangers actually saved the woman. And, but her mom got killed. It looks like a cool experience. But to get out? To do... Come on. Like, why would you do this? Like, this is... Can you imagine the regret this woman feels? Like, I shouldn't have argued. I shouldn't... Or even whatever, argue, but stay in the car. This tiger took her, like, this tiger dragged her off. Like, if you were to just grab a baby and just drag it across the living room. Like, that easily. And you know what tigers do? Tigers go for your throat to kill you. They, they, they go to your throat, and they bite down as hard as they can, and they rip your throat out. That's what tigers do. This woman got lucky that the, ti the tiger just like grabbed her leg or her, her, her arm or something. I can't even tell in the video because it's like it's so quick. As much as I like them, I would not pet a tiger. I wouldn't even get close to a tiger. If I'm, by if I'm in the car, that's different. If I'm behind a cage like a fence that's closed off, okay. But if it's an open area, hell no. Like why would I do that? When I was younger, our parents would take us to my ring world. In the tiger area, the skit that the people who work there would do is there is a park ranger, and so he runs out. Then a tiger is behind him. The guy kind of like like jumps and kind of like uh, like falls back, and the tiger jumps on top of him. And it's part of the skit, so. I've always known that because I've, I've seen it so many times. Every time we've gone to my ring world, I always wanted to see that. Because I just, I like how tigers look. People next to me would always, they would gasp. They would, <gasps> like, <gasps> like, oh my god, like, you know. But I knew it was part of the skit, right? And, and I liked it. It was cool. Like, it was, you know, just looking at them and they're playing with the tigers. They're feeding them. They'll put, like, a piece of meat, like, on a long pole and they'll hold it up. And then the tiger will jump up and, like, grab it. Or, like, or a beach ball or something. And they'll jump up and just, like, smack it. You know, just to show how high they can jump. And so, and, yeah, that's pretty much my childhood. My, my childhood, we didn't go to Disneyland. 
we went to Marine World all the time. You know, when I'm there, sitting like front row, second row, my dad would not sit with us. My dad was all the way in the back. He was all the way back there. Every single time. And <laughs> I remember asking him one time, how come you never like to sit like close? He's like, you have no idea how dangerous these animals are. Now I understand. Now as a grown man, I understand. I get it now. Even though we're, even though we're behind the fence and they're they're and clo they're it's it's safe or I mean I don't know, as safe as you can be. But my dad was not taking any chances. Me, of course, I'm just watching. And this is just this is just a show to me. You know, of course I didn't understand how dangerous they are. You know, like when the tiger jumps on the guy, of course in my mind I'm saying like, yeah, that's just part of the skit. You know, everyone else is gasping, but it's because everyone else knew, you know. But yeah, my dad being all the way in the back makes perfect sense now. I think nowadays if my dad took me to my ring world, I'd probably be standing with him in the back. I don't think I would be sitting in the first, second row anymore. You know, as much as I would like to pet a tiger, nope, never. That tiger would just, that tiger will bite my hand off and no more editing for me. No more driving, no more, I gotta do everything with my, nah, man. Just if it, if it ripped off like my fingers, just that, oh my God, man. Imagine how, how much pain you would be. As much as I like tigers, as much as I like how tigers look, I, I can never pet one. If it's a small tiger, if it's a like a like a baby tiger, maybe. But if it's a grunt, no, no way. Even if people raise tigers since they were born, at the end of the day, it's still a tiger. At the end of the day, those animal instincts are gonna kick in, and whoever is near them, that tiger is going to kill them. They always go for the neck because they want to kill you first. That's what they do. Thank you for watching. Peace out and stay posted.